And alongside our Raptors reporter, Josh Lewenberg. And Josh, you've got a story right now on TSN.ca about Kawhi Leonard and this impending decision that is coming in regards to free agency and how that might impact the Toronto Raptors roster. Because really, there's three scenarios here. So let's go through them. Uh, let's begin with the short-term scenario. What would happen to the Raptors if he decided to stay on a short-term deal? Yeah, he could sign what's called a one-and-one, a one-year deal with a player option for the second year. And what that would allow the Raptors to do in the short term anyways is run it back for next season and try to repeat. Uh, their core group of players is under contract for next season. Danny Green is the only regular rotation guy who's a free agent, and I imagine they would try and bring him back in that scenario. Now, that's an expensive proposition with luxury tax payments. That payroll would be one of the most expensive in NBA history, but I imagine MLSE would be happy to pay it as long as the Raptors are competing for championships. Uh, in, in the short term, that's what what it would look like and then obviously Kawhi could opt out of his contract next summer and we could be doing this whole thing again. Well, you talk about expenses, though, because if he stays long term, the Toronto Raptors can offer him $50 million more than he would make elsewhere. Uh, what impact would that have on the team? Yeah, well, that's the long term security option for Kawhi and for the team. As I mentioned, year one, you run it back. After that, you've got a lot of roster flexibility because Kyle Lowry, Marc Gasol, Serge Ibaka and Fred Van Vliet, all of those contracts expire after next season. So that's over $90 million that's coming off the board. Books. If you're Masai Ujiri, you can go out and try and sign a big name free agent on the open market, pair another star with Kawhi Leonard and Pascal Siakam, who's due for a big raise as well. They could look to extend him as early as this summer. So this team, even if Kawhi stays, could look very different in a year or two from now. Now, if Kawhi decides to leave, the obvious is you lose your best player. But what does that do to the team? It's a big blow, but it's also not a doomsday scenario by any means. The Raptors are actually well positioned to transition to the next era because Masai Ujiri didn't give up Siakam or OG Ananobi or future picks in the trade to get Leonard. So I think in the short term, it's sort of a bridge year for the Raptors. Those guys that I mentioned that are under contract, those guys, even though they're expiring, would be tough to move without taking back another big unwanted salary in return. So you probably run that group back minus Kawhi. They'd be good, not a championship caliber team, but they'd be competitive, probably a middle tier playoff team in the Eastern Conference. And from there, once all that money comes off the books, you can essentially hit the reset button and build around Pascal Siakam. So lots of moving parts and everybody's all waiting for Kawhi. Our Raptors reporter, Josh Lewenberg.